Happy full moon in Scorpio. So I've been guided to get some decks ready here, but we'll just go where the energy flows here. So first up, I'm using, what is this called? Beyond Lemuria. <gasps> Air. Paradigm shift. Look at those stars. So your chakras. Air. It's your communication, your thoughts, your voice. Look, realm bridger, which goes right along with this paradigm shift, which is a number 13, which is significant. I feel like that number may have a significance to you, but it's also the number of the death card in the Tarot, like Major Arcana. And that brings me over here to this pile over here, which is a Ten of Swords. Something is over. Ended. Benito. Look at all these eyes. There's a lot of people observing you. This is also you just being crystal clear on what, what, what it is. <laughs> it meaning whatever to you, because this is a general collective energy. Okay. There's something here about justice okay you saw that balance card coming into balance okay this is also uh i'm hearing the word in sync okay but then they also said in sync like you could be listening to in sync right now i i i'm seeing someone wearing an in sync t-shirt so i feel like that is a specific message uh for you because the divine wants you to know yes this is real okay so, wow, harmony, okay? This is the lovers in the major arcana, but it's called the harmony card here. It's the number six, but look at them seeing the eyes. There's something here in regards to eyes, okay? Um, like, I'm hearing all eyes on you, okay? Uh, that Tupac song, all right? But, um definitely this goes back to just people watching you there's also um yeah somebody like i'm hearing ebony and ivory go together whatever that song paul mccartney and michael michael jackson song ebony and ivory so you could be a um, different race from your partner, okay? Wow, nine of cups. Which is wish fulfillment. It says fulfillment of wishes. Okay, so there's some sort of connection but i also heard like a connection with divine but this is also a connection with yourself like the balancing of your divine masculine and divine feminine within okay it's helping you to um uh like cl clear decisions make clear de decisions define the law according to yourself it's not like bringing the law into your own hands but it's like being like the emperor of your life, okay? What you say goes. Yeah, see, look, partnerships. Partnerships and alliances. Somebody is suffering in silence, okay? Hmm. Yeah, nines. We have three, six, nine. There's double nine, so something is ending here, okay? So something is closing out, and then there's chaos and conflict in reverse, which I don't really read reversals because this is probably just because part of the deck was upside down. But anyway, since it 
showed itself to me in reversal. So there's, I feel like someone, I, I just heard the jig is up. Somebody has made a, it has become decisive in regards to some sort of relationship, okay? Or relationships, all right? Uh, but again, you see how these flags are blue and pink? That's like boy and girl, so it's like, um, it's male and female, you know? It's like there's, there's some sort of balance coming here, all right? It's happening within because I feel like some of you may be waiting for someone or something or just really feel like you're alone, like wondering like, <laughs> I'm hearing this, someday my friends will come, you know, like that song. Listen. What's underneath here? Yeah, see, there's there's two fives here, okay? And this isn't really the greatest of energy, the chaos and conflict, and then the financial and material, ch um, material changes, okay? So this is a loss, but this is what's changing. The wheel is turning, okay? We've been in this, like, in and out, or, like, one foot in the past, one foot in the present, but everything hasn't, like completely lined up but that's because some sort of awareness needed to come through here okay and it's like you see how those sores are going through the eye and it's like it's like this person is just using their third eye this person is no longer I don't know if anybody else has like ever used this um, word but there's something that is to live by which is, uh, I used to say it a lot more or think about it a lot more than I do today, but uh, it's believe half of what you see and none of what you hear because you don't really know what's going on when you're seeing something, right? So it can be interpreted all different ways. So that's why it's like believe half of what you see. This person is completely trusting their intuition over any kind of thoughts, any kind of things that they're hearing about different things they're they're not speaking okay something has it's like you're putting an end somebody is putting an end to half truths or any kind of truth that isn't theirs okay and this could have cost a lot all right it's like it could have made you feel alone okay listen This is part of your healing. You are shining. Look, and here's this throat chakra. Because people are coming into their truth. It, it's like time to celebrate your truth. And listen, I want to tell you something. Today, um, I was I was with my coach this morning. And we were talking after training. And um, I was just like, like kind of off, you know. And... And I was kind of like feeling sorry for myself and he told me that <laughs> and uh, see my coach isn't just like um, he's he's very he's a very well educated man and uh, also like a licensed psychologist and um, so he like really kind of like called me on my shit today and it just kind of started laughing because I haven't had anybody like that in my life in in a really long time and but my coach is like that you know and I I can take it from him you know because I, I don't know I can just take it from him he's I I believe in him you know he's uh He's a hardworking man. He's an honest man. He's like, you know, he stands by what he says, you know. He is who he is. And he doesn't, like, have any kind of, like, front up. And I admire him. You know, I look up to him. And 
I respect him. So when he called me on my shit, you know, like I had to like laugh and you know, the bottom line is like, we got to this awareness, which is like something I've known. I just haven't really <sighs> said it out loud. And I guess I needed somebody else to confirm, you know, because the bottom line is we all have our issues here, right? Okay. So maybe you're keeping what's really bothering you to yourself. Okay. But it's like, um, you have come into balance with with who you are okay you you are you may not feel like you're exactly in the place where you're surrounded by people that get you or understand you okay but but it's coming and remember you're never alone because god's always with you right like he's he like lives literally lives inside you okay uh you're still healing as you're like transforming okay you know to finish my understanding, you know, I had this like big breakthrough moment with my coach this morning and it's like, cause I told him, I said, I feel like my thoughts, like physically I'm here, but it's like my brain hasn't caught up to where my body is because it's like, I'm, I'm safe, you know, like everything's okay in my world now, you know, and I don't have to stress about anything, but my, and I know that. And when I look around and see my, my life and like, what's in my life, my day to day life, like things are good. Like things, things are fucking good, you know, but it's taken me so long <laughs> to get to this place and I have gone through um, so many traumatic events in my whole fucking lifetime, honestly. And one day I'm going to write a story and I'm going to tell you all about it. Maybe not every gory detail, but I'm going to, I'm going to share it with you. And so it's like, I've been doing all this work to like release and break free and learn how to set boundaries and hold the boundaries because I I kept setting them and then lifting them up and setting them and lifting them up until I like I finally have been able to like set these boundaries and like stand firm in who I am and what I know, you know? And it's 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 allowed me to and my children to be in a safe place and so but it's like i was just i've automatically been in this like it's been hard to, it's it's been the survivor mode is like like just so that i can exhale you know what i'm saying like just to get to that place to be able to exhale i i feel like some of you may be going through some sort of uh, energy like this as well, you know, where your your life is changing, okay? Yeah, it, it, we're still in this period of rest, okay? Healing. Let me see, what else does the... Yeah, but see, paradigm shift. Realm bridger, okay? You could be... The reason you feel like you're alone is because you may be the only one... Um, in your you are the one placed in your particular environment you are the way showers what i'm hearing okay so so that means like wherever you are okay even if it's just even if it's around your family you are the one that's like makes everybody feel uncomfortable because everybody's used to freaking ignoring the giant elephant in the middle of the room but here you are like you're fucking sitting on top of the elephant and you're freaking like you know what I mean? Like causing all kinds of, uh, bringing all kinds of attention to it. Okay. And, and not everybody's up to seeing the elephant in the room, you know, and, but you are that person, you know, God has placed you where you are for that reason to spark this change, like, uh, like w amongst the communities that you're walking into, whether that's your, 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 your family, your work environment, your 
whatever if where your work whatever work school family or all of the above okay so because look even behind this light is the sun card okay the sun card is the light card and that's the happiest card in the deck so there is a method to God's madness I promise I have never found it out until after <laughs> like way after the lesson is shown to me okay sometimes it takes a while to see that but it's like you were put where you are because I mean look at this spiritual strength that you have and you're look at who you're backed by like your heart is so big your heart is so big and it's this is all green I, I I just feel like I'm hearing blessed you're about to be blessed you know we got three nines and three six nine you could be seeing those numbers and then the 19 is the Sun card so that breaks down to a 10 which breaks down to a 1 so it's like endings to new beginnings you could even be seeing 1001 and here's this throat chakra okay five change five 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 now we have five 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 also on the board so that could be another number that you're seeing listen rejoice in celebration okay this is also the card of reunion which tells me like you could be um, celebrating something very soon here okay or maybe you're celebrating something tonight okay it's like drinking a toast okay there's some sort of award somebody's winning something okay there's there's some sort of award being given here I'm like I just saw like this um, there's some sort of celebration of love as well okay so because I'm seeing that big cup behind the, those three cups as like the ace of cups that's how they showed it to me wow see tower moment there there's something this is like I feel like there's a revelation happening here okay so I mean we've been talking about this this whole like stepping into your truth embracing your power right just like leaning into it but just because you're doing something positive for yourself doesn't mean that everybody's like hip hip hooraying for you okay what I've noticed in my own life is that you know the more that I step into my power the more I embrace who I am and the more that I set boundaries and hold them firm the more I realize like people don't want me to change okay uh, they can use words that sound supportive but their actions are not supportive at all right okay are, are striking up a whole nother kind of you know at least attempting to stir up a bunch of other emotions but you know so you may be going through this as well within your own circle of friends you know your work environment your school environment whatever it is okay your family environment and listen awareness is the first step in change okay awareness you can't change anything you're not aware of right a lot of times what like what helps me like let go of my expectations of others I'm not saying that I don't ever get them but but when I realize like that's where I'm at and I'm stuck I have this expectation of like someone being a certain way what helps me remember that I have no control over what anybody else does is that I remember how like when when I first got sober you know there were so many things that came to my awareness like I had no idea that I had been so manipulative you know like what I had used my looks you know to get certain things and um or whatever whatever it was you know but as soon as I had the awareness 
I took action to change my behavior towards that. Like, I, w I was like so shocked that I had been a certain way and hadn't even known it that, you know, like I had, I was so shocked that I had been so manipulative, even like mostly to myself that I just believed that I, I didn't even know that I was doing those things that I literally stopped talking to men, you know? And, uh, when I first got sober, I was like on this like five year plan. I was like five year, I'm on a five year plan. I was like, you know, and they would come talk to me and I'd be like, no, nope. I would just walk by. I'd be like, no, nope. I'm on a five year plan, buddy. Like, see you later. Bye. You know, like, <laughs> you know, I didn't last five years, but I lasted three, a little over three. And, um, you know, so, but that's what I'm saying. Like nothing changes if, if you can't change something you're not aware of. But as soon as I became aware of it, you know, I wanted to make a change. Now, just because somebody becomes aware of something that needs to change within them or should change, or maybe they're doing, they, not everybody makes a decision because that's hard. You know, like it's hard to make make changes in your life okay and so I feel like you might be reflecting to others what needs to change in their life and maybe not everybody is like down with that you know what I'm saying like it's not very comfortable for them and it's okay like we don't have to like judge these people or whatever you know like I remember I remember like I had lit, I got sober when I was 29. So I had lived 29 years. Okay. Of my life without realizing that I was like, I could be manipulative and do all these things without even like realizing I was that kind of person, you know, and you know, to not be like that, you know, today, like it's, like I still have to be aware, like I still acknowledge that that's, that's who I've been in the past. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and, and th even when you're changing things, it doesn't mean like everything changes overnight just because you fucking just make a decision to do it. You know, it takes constant or daily vigilance of whatever it is that you want to change, you know, and to want to have that be able to do that. Look, Eight of Pentacles. See, this is about working on yourself. Education, achievement, results, hard work. I feel like somebody's hard work is being recognized. And I feel like these are also part of these eyes that are on you. Is that people are noticing that you are really changed. And so it's like, they're taking notes, okay? But not everybody, like, not for, not for, it's like some people are watching you because they're waiting for you to slip up. They want to catch you slipping up. And some people are watching you in awe and admiration. So somebody is like a bee catcher or something or works like on a bee farm or does something with bees. And you're going to be seeing a lot more growth within your community as well as your um, with your work. Your harvest. Your harvest is growing is what I'm hearing. Look, Ace of Swords. The truth change success action decisions yeah see i feel like people are seeing you being rewarded for speaking up speaking your truth holding your holding your ground they're seeing that you are Backed by the Almighty. That's what I heard. You might feel alone because maybe like. Or abandoned by, you know, your loved ones or whatever. But it's like. You're never alone. And. 
the people that you can like like how I have coach in my life and you know to to talk to like he we don't even speak the same language like we like Google translate back and forth <laughs> and we have like these very deep he's I, I I really care for him a lot you know and he's really helped me a lot and I feel like people you're going to be connecting more with others look see I, I, I was going to say here some of you are like our teachers are becoming teachers here okay or are teachers all right it's like yeah and you're gathering like two more keys there all right this is also um, joining forces I'm hearing okay there's like some sort of enlightenment coming here yeah uh, your options are opening up big time you're moving towards your own true emotional fulfillment instead of living for others you're living um, for yourself but not not in a selfish way but it's like in this way where it's like you have to fill your own cup first before you can help others but this is definitely um, sharing your voice um, it, it's it's giving back to the world in whatever way like whether that's like through your work or there's some some sort of like work that you do that gives back to others in in some sense whether that's just like you're the one that's like showing up with a smile or whatever it is okay but it's like okay I also just heard it's like as you stand in your truth you teach others to or give people the strength and the courage to stand in their truth too right so and that's what it's about man like like when it all comes down to it it's like we're literally all in this together okay nobody's better or worse than anybody else we're all just human man I mean and we're allowed to be human and being human means we're going to not always get it right and that's okay because it's like yeah yeah it's uh i'm hearing that song um the climb by miley cyrus look love i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things exactly it's like because something that i was going to say like right before this card came out it i i heard um jesus ate with thieves it didn't mean that he was a thief but he, he, he still ate with thieves. He treated them with respect. He spoke with them, you know? And that's like, I mean, fuck, dude. You know, like, he wasn't, like, judgmental of them or anything like that. He's just, like, fucking, he, like, he broke bread with them. He chilled with them. And, like, um, there there's something here about that. It's like, I know that for, for me, the more... I see my faults, my own, like, uh, where I fall short in life. It's like, I keep learning, you know, to be more compassionate for others. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Like, there are people that it's harder for me to do that than others, you know, uh, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a good go every single day, you know, and, uh, because I do have that understanding that we are all just human and we're all just trying to figure it out. And, you know, there are people out there that are just mean and, you know, God, when I think about why they're mean or why they're vindictive or why they're like cutthroat, like it's, it's like I wonder how they grew up. Like I literally do, and I fucking pray for them that they heal. <laughs> like I start feeling bad for them. Like my God, you know what happened? What happened to you that you got to freaking be like that to others? You know, like how messed up has their life been? What is it? I, I don't know. 
but I'm not perfect, man. Like, but but there there's a stepping into your own energy coming here. But again, it's 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 bittersweet. But the bottom line is, yeah, look at this love and friendship and freedom. It's like I'm gonna cry, you guys. <laughs> Because love is allowing, it's having the freedom to be yourself and letting other people be themselves too. It's it's like, it's, I just heard love them and leave them. It's like, it's not so much like that in a, in like this like dirty, raunchy way. It's like, it's like when it's done, it's done. It's okay. You, you don't have to part ways in this like, you know, mean way where it's like, you got to retaliate. It's just like, man, just like be grateful for the experience and just, okay. Like you can part as friends. So that way it's like when you run into each other again, you can, you can say, Hey, what's up, you know, or just be happy for whoever you see them with, you know, or maybe you won't ever see them again and, and know that that's good too. You know, um, Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Usually it has to do with some sort of lesson. And just because they're in there for a, le a lesson doesn't mean that they're there forever, you know? It's like sometimes we meet people just so we can learn how to let go, how to, some, some people come into our lives to teach us how to love unconditionally, you know, like, so at least that's been my experience. And, you know, the, it's, those, it's been, it's not that it's, it's, it's been the easiest thing to, to, to love people. What's been hard is accepting not everybody feels the way that I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, I've talked too much, so I will say less. Embrace the light. Mission uncovered. Don't give up. Order of Melchizedek. All right, you guys. I love you. I hope this helps. And I will see you soon. Good night.